Hi folks, remember the Fusion Friday we did on that, uh, what's it's an encoder wheel? Uh, we've made two of them and the customer ordered a third. So I figured, well, let's film it this time. So here's our old fixture. We're gonna deck this thing off, reuse it. We're gonna use some of our double-sided tape with the tricks that we've learned on how to run it. And then we're gonna make that thing out of this 19 thou thick piece of steel, take it off the fixture and powder coat it. Let's rock and roll. Don't have to tear all this stuff off, but probably can't hurt to uh, get rid of the last of this old tape. Twenty five hundred RPMs. Step down. Come down ten thou. Should clean us up. This is the start of our dedicated machine carts to work in progress. So let's shear off a piece of this about like so. This is the absolute definition of overkill. Actually, rolled that edge up a little. So I don't like it. Good to go on the size. 3M, I write it down here, 9579, uh, link in the video description. This stuff is, our, in our brief experience with it, been pretty darn amazing. Um, and you're gonna see that we do just, we, all we really need to do is pressure activate it. Is this overkill? I don't really know, but it works. Uh, if you don't have one of these, though, I wouldn't sweat it. I, I suspect, um, I suspect that a uh, vice could work just as well. I want to get something though to lay on top of that real quick.
We've got our setup centered in the part. We'll do a contour around with an offset edge. Then we'll do a contour where we come and clean it up. An adaptive for the middle, and then just two contours to clean up the middle, and then our little nurdles around the edge. Post. Speaking of which, here's a sneak preview of our giant shop reorganization project. The idea, I'm not loving it yet, because it doesn't look as great, but you know, here are, for, for instance, all of my 1 8 inch end mills. And I'm gonna use a stubby guy from Lakeshore Carbide. This one, right here. Four flute, shorty. Tool 99 for the Heimer. Find my left edge. Right edge. So, and then hit, so we're pretty close to five inches divided by two. That puts my X dead center, which is what I want. Same thing in Y. Actually, I know that that was spot on, so I'll just say here we're negative 2.5. That's Z0, and let's jog around. I wonder how flat this thing is. We're coming off a little there. But that's not even that much. Like right there, this is in mil the Heimer's in millimeters. That's two, th three thou over two inches. It, that's fine for here. Remember, are you not supposed to use this tape if you use flood coolant? Um, if so, is flood coolant a good way to remove the tape or adhesive? Because that's the next challenge after we <laughs> finish machining this thing. 17 is the tool number. I like to do a sanity check, especially if I'm remeasuring a new tool. Let's see. Yep, that looks about right. And on the height, and sure enough, you can see our little dot here, or in the middle of the part. Let's rock and roll. That did not go so well, but if you take a look, stuck to this, not to this, doofus forgot to clean this off. I can't believe I did that. This knock on HDPE should be uh, fine now. Yeah. Oh. 
let's try that again. Let's powder coat it. So we've got it actually in the oven. I just soaked it in the uh, parts washer. So let the acetone or the cleaner bake off and then we just got a new powder coat gun. We actually broke our Eastwood one. The um, Excuse the mess. Uh, there's a plastic piece that comes out from here which picks up the powder when it's in the tube and the lid broke off and that piece broke off and maybe you can fix it but the thing's five years old and dear god it's powder coated so hundreds, um, yeah hundreds of parts for sure. Um, but I'm really excited for this one. It's a few bucks more. It's uh, I think about 300 and some um, but I'm told you get a lot more control out of it. The next step up from here was it looked to be about 800 bucks. So I thought, let's try this one. Um, so, well, let's, let's try it. Uh, I think that worked okay. It's first, literally the first time I've ever used it in that adjustment knob on the back is your voltage, which uh, I know has a big impact on how the powder flows. So I gotta learn it uh, a little bit more, but hopefully that's a good trick because I love powder coating, uh, being able to. By all means, we send big orders out, but it's really nice to be able to do one thing in you know half an hour, 20 minutes. That actually turned out great. Um, it, I, it's been a while since I used the powder coat gun, but um, it flowed on really easily. It went well, it got into the, this is a pretty easy part to powder coat, but that worked great. So uh, more to come on how well that thing works out, but this is a job done. Get her packed up, shipped off. We are actually off too, to the Tormach Open House. Boy, coming up, uh, when you're watching this, I think it's this coming weekend. So if you're in the uh, Madison, Wisconsin area, come by, say hi, see Tormach machines, learn at some good classes. Uh, again, otherwise, see you soon. Take care, folks.